This video has been designed to ensure TAC clients and injured workers achieve the best possible outcomes. The clinical framework will provide you with the skills and tools to ensure your patients achieve recovery, return to work and function. The clinical framework consists of five principles that have been thoroughly reviewed and clinically justified. The TAC and WorkSafe want to work with you to support patients who have been injured on our roads and in our workplaces. So, how do you think you're going? It still doesn't feel that great, to be honest. It still hurts. Well, in actual fact, you've improved from last time at 46 to this time you're now 64. And if you look at that, you can see how you've improved with your lifting, your walking, and with your standing. This illustrates why it's so important to have standardised questionnaires as part of your assessment, particularly when you have patients that are concerned about their recovery. Standardised questionnaires provide you with that extra piece of information so that you can make good clinical decisions about the next move for your patient management. Nine. Ten. Fantastic. I think you're ready to go back to work. Don't I need to be completely pain free to go back to work? Return to work is actually part of your rehabilitation. But I will give your return to work coordinator a call to make sure the duties are safe for your injury. The biopsychosocial model informs us that what prevents patients returning to work and to activity is often more than the injury itself. Identification of specific patient barriers, such as fear of re-injury, and graduated increase in activity can ensure best possible patient outcomes. So this is looking really good. I think we can reduce your treatment now from weekly to fortnightly. I don't feel that I'm ready for that. Well, your scores are good, you're back at work. The most important thing we can do for you now is assist you with self-management strategies so you become less and less dependent upon treatment. When patients' recovery has plateaued, they often require reassurance that they will be able to cope with a reduction in treatment. This requires good advice and explanation, along with some sound self-management strategies so that they will be able to manage by themselves more and more. So what would you like to achieve? I'd really like to get back to running. All right, well, let's make that into some specific goals so that we really make sure you do achieve it. We'll ride the bike up to 30 minutes over the next month. Then over the next month, we'll increase your walking program until you're walking up to 45 minutes. And from that point on, we'll start you on graduated walk running um, over the next two months. It is essential to have patient goals that are specific, measurable and achievable. This provides markers that can be monitored to ensure ongoing patient recovery. in such a hurry, Paul. Oh, I've got to go to a lecture on pain management. You've been in the business 20 years. Surely you know everything there is to know about pain management. Well, surprisingly, there is always something new to learn. And if you don't stay up with it, you just get left behind. 